Nerevar. I'm glad you joined me at a time like this. Yes, it is true. Our dear friend Caesar was writing erotic fan fictions about us behind our back. Ulysses even had the audacity to say his writing was good. Well, I happen to finish one of this disaster pieces and I'm going to read it for you. Beware, though, sweet Nerevar. I have not read this before, so it could be something so depraved, so foul, so wretched that your nails will curl back exposing your bare cuticles to the harsh winds and raining soot of Red Mountain. Anyways, let me proceed. In the land of Morrowind, the Nereverine had long been prophesied to return and vanquish the evil Dagoth Ur, the leader of the Sixth House. For years, the two had been locked in a bitter struggle for the fate of the land. Okay, well, my first critique is calling me evil. I think I'm very nice. Just recently, I started an initiative to give the farm tools one more loaf of bread a year to curb the rising rate of cannibalism. Anyways. One day, as the Nereverine journeyed through the Red Mountain, Dagoth Ur appeared before him. Nerevar, we have been at odds for too long, Dagoth Ur said. We must put an end to this feud. The Nereverine was taken aback. What do you mean, Dagoth Ur? Dagoth Ur explained that he had come to realize that the prophecy was not a matter of good versus evil, but of balance. The land of Morrowind had been thrown out of balance by the tribunal, and it was up to the Nereverine and Dagoth Ur to restore it. At first, the Nereverine was skeptical. But as Dagoth Ur spoke, he began to see the truth in his words. The two decided to work together to restore the balance of Morrowind. Well, so far, this isn't... bad, I guess. They traveled together through the Red Mountain, fighting off hordes of ash creatures and Sixth House cultists. As they fought side by side, the Nereverine and Dagoth Ur began to form a bond deeper than just friendship. Wait, what does he mean deeper than just friendship? Of course we have a deeper bond than that. You are my brother Nerevar. How ludicrous of Caesar. Let me continue. Eventually they reached the heart of Lorcan, where the power of the gods flowed into the land. Dagoth Ur and the Nereverine stood before the heart, ready to restore the balance of Morrowind. Suddenly the tribunal appeared. Stop! Vivek cried. What are you doing, Nereverine? Dagoth Ur is our enemy. Ah, yes, a classic move of Vivek turning friends into foe. But the Nereverine stood firm. No, Vivek. Dagoth Ur is not our enemy. We are here to restore the balance of Morrowind. And with that, the Nereverine and Dagoth Ur reached out and touched the heart. A blinding light filled the room, and when it faded, the land of Morrowind was changed. If only it was that easy. Wait, what's this next part? To celebrate that unifying peace the land had achieved, Nerevar slathered Dagother's ashen vampire's abs with a viscous glob of Dwemer oil and started to gargle on his massive throbbing. Nope. 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 I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence.